the first step after you finished or the installation of the whole system uh, you enter the login in the interface now you can see the username and the password in our system our original username is a minister and you choose the minister and input the password the original password is six six that's me you need to input six times by six yeah now we input okay after input you log in oh, sorry okay you enter into our working software interface now from the left side you see the six button the first one is the setting for the whole parking system the second one is the authorization for a uh, operator and uh, the cars and the third one is the uh, vehicle management the fourth is the surveillance and the fifth is the record six is report from every button we will have a video to explain how to use it now we uh, we come to the setting click the setting and you will see the four uh, buttons the first one is change password second one setting parameters the third one is system maintenance and the fourth one is payment shame first let, let's ch talk about the change password change password you click and you can see the first one is the current password input your original password for but for example you input six times by six and then you input new password confirm new password after finish input you confirm yeah password has been successfully changed Okay, we finished the first step to change the password and then we go to the second one setting parameters. This is the most important setting in our management software. We click in, we see the three parts. The first part is the system setting and report title as means when you print out the showing of the report title, you input you could customers here from uh, input your own own information here and the second one is the for the communication setting for currency and you can choose your currency of your countries here is camera IP and uh, display IP for enter exit and display IP uh, this uh, display content here uh, you can uh, input any language here and our control LED control panel support any any language. If any problems, you can contact with the developer about the changing. Um, you also could setting setting the display brightness. We have some values from first to second, third, etc. And you also could set the rows of LED display. Uh, some some display only have two row and the others have four rows so you could have an option here here we could choose the display directions the first uh, some some places the uh, the display directions from left side and the others from right side and you could choose from this button from left of the uh, right after con confirm the setting, you need to confirm first. Okay. Um, after finish the first the system setting, we come to the enter and exit setting. This is a very very important steps in all the system. First, you choose select the country. We our system support more than one hundred countries, so you need to choose which country you need to use in the system. For example, we use this for Brazil we choose Brazil and the contrast sensitivity we confirm is 918 uh, it's, it's normally the original setting uh, you needn't you needn't to change anymore if you want to change you need to 
contact with the developer about the value you need to change. Now we get to the third part for the repeat enter. This function is using for some cars need to uh, repeat enter in your parking lot maybe one time, two times a day. You need to uh, click this functions as yes. And some uh, we have also have some uh, quick button for non-temporary car. If you uh, for the VIP and season cars, you want this car spawn go into the parking lot second time, third time, you need to click this long temporary by this button. Okay, next button is for the repeat departure. Repeat departure is, uh, is for the cars when the first time not the license plate not be recognized and then you, the car could park the second time and also our system could recognize the second time. Okay, uh, next button is for allow, uh, allow temporary cars to enter. Um, some parking lot is just uh, for special, for fixed users, no need temporary cars to enter. So you need to change, change this to no. Uh, otherwise you choose yes. Okay, next button, if temporary cars enter confirmation, if we're you allow the temporary car to enter and you also don't want to recognize automatically and confirm open the barrier you um, you choose this button to yes so when temporary car go into the parking lot need the administrator or, or operator to confirm in our software to allow it to enter or not okay uh, next uh, function is print receipt some uh, system are connected to the printer. If you customers want to print the receipt, you need to click yes. When you click yes, uh, after charging, the uh, print receipt will print automatically. For unattended, you for some parking system and you no need anybody to um, touch it, control it, and you could change to yes. Otherwise, uh, you change to no. Another button is for non temporary car exit confirmation. For example, some uh, VIP cars or season cars, you want to confirm at the exit, you change, you change to yes. If no, just uh, change to no. For example, some uh, season cars, you want to uh, che check when at the exit, you change to yes. Next button is for enter and exit of the same line. For example, some uh, some places only have one line, uh, just for cars enter and exit. You choose to yes. And, and next next button is repeat identification interval. For example, some uh, um, some cars repeat twice. Uh, we need uh, interval time between the two identification. So we, we, we could evaluate this value, okay? After this, we have a, a function of free release. Free release means for some special cars, we have a button in our surveillance. You, need, you could click here to free release. And broadcast by PC means we need PC to offer the voice and the, of the car plate number and the value and how much need to charge this information. Um, another one is abnormal delay treatment. For this function is using for some uh, some uh, uh, abnormal situation have some problems for, for the license plate. You if you choose yes and when in you are in the charging interface you could select this record to deal, deal with later okay next one is for max characters different to relays we our license plate re, re, uh, recognition system um, from the principle we agree total characters and numbers are same we send to release but in some situation we have a um, seven for example seven seven characters we have six in same but one different but we could 
then to release you need to uh, setting this function to one if one letter different still need to still could release this function is done it's not often used just uh, uh, you could choose from uh, your local from uh, your the local uh, situation okay another one is for uh, an auto release in free time um, actually in our parking lots have some uh, time some period you could release in this time some car go into for example 50 minutes coming in and uh, put off somebody and get off and get out of the parking lot so no need to charge so you click yes in free time the, the recognition the carpet number so auto release okay after this the next function is step payment by plate number uh, our system support to connect to the step payment machine after you click together you need to input the plate number to charge this function is for this one and the last function is for channel plate recognition for this function is just uh, using the in the boundary for uh, this boundary they need to recognize the Chinese plate plate and other countries other places so we change to yes if others just uh, change to no okay this function uh, this system is introduced about the enter and exit function after setting all the functions you confirm okay the third one is for other confirmation about the st storage maintenance this maintenance is just the uh, settings for the uh, storage time of the capture image delayed expiry Im images storage day and shifting records all these things you need you could study according to your computer and your re requirements of this and next the function is the first parking space this parking sp space is total parking space of your parking lot and the mini minimum balance a low re resistant time and the cycle value and the minim minimum balance is that for some uh, charging cars the minimum lower than this balance then they have a notice to uh, recharge again and with res resistance time you could uh, could set in from here and the time is how to calculate this time it's better you you check from a uh, from after payment to the exit how much the time need so you starting from here for this sentiment value it's just uh, for uh, the standard you want to use for the number okay the next one is for uh, image and backup the uh, the locations and we have some settings about vehicle type actually in our parking parking lot is not only the small car we maybe maybe have the truck have some uh, uh, bus have some other cars so we could setting from here for car type and working station for set up uh, for example one parking lot maybe have different workstation and uh, different area and different lines and you can name all the lines all the work workstations and parking lot from here okay after checking and setting all the functions you confirm yes yes set up completely so we exit the system this is the setting parameters the third part is for the system maintenance system maintenance is very simple it's just uh, for the capture image delayed time and enter and exit record delayed and backup with a uh, database location and the restore database it's very simple you can sign in by your yourself uh, okay after signing this we exit okay for the payment scheme we have a uh, uh, different standard for payment ship it's it's better you contact with the development about you tell them how to make the payments and they will setting for you this is the best way and um, just uh, have uh, some uh, some words for uh, for op
options you could check okay confirm exit so this is the first functions of settings of our system